Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to connect to Azure SQL Databricks SQL Server endpoint through SSMS. By default, there is no option uh, like uh, uh, directly how we used to connect the SMS. Uh, yeah, like uh, we have to connect through like uh, by creating ODBC and uh, that uh, uh, from there we need to create the linked server and that's how so we have indirect way. I'm going to discuss that way. First of all, to connect uh, to Databricks SQL endpoint, we need to download Databricks endpoint 64 bit uh, version. As of now, I am using 64 bit editions. So that's the reason I need to select once you downloaded, you need to extract that file and you need to run, uh, run uh, double click on that and you need to install and you have to proceed next, next install. Once you done installation, now uh, you have to click open the ODBC source administrator 64 bit from search and here you have to in the system DNS, you will able to see Simba Sark 64 bit ODBC driver. Once you done that, now click on add here, select your uh, ODBC driver, proceed to next. And meanwhile, uh, like I'm name can be anything here. I'm giving Databricks, so which is a friendly name. And meanwhile, open a notepad, mode open a notepad and come to uh, this one. Click on uh, compute uh, SQL server uh, warehouses. Uh, click here here come to connection details here you need to copy and paste it here sort dot uh, HTTP path okay so I am pasting here and meanwhile you need to have path token click on settings click on developer or click on developer here click on manage here gender and here you can be, name can be anything um, like database access. So here 90 days I am giving that up to 90 days it will work. After that you need to copy this token. Now click here and paste it down. So now I have collected all the info what I required. So now come here open ODBC driver here give the name Databricks and uh, Come copy the server name here, port number 443. Okay, and here you need to select username and password. Uh, once you selected the username and password, type here in the small letters token. Okay, now uh, now you have to change here host 2.2 and uh, you need to paste it here token pass through here you need to pass the token okay once you done you need to select this option so as of now I am I'm able to log in with one user so I'm selecting this user current user so click OK now OK done so here you need to select uh, HTTP uh, path and you have to click the HTTP options here now you need to copy this one and you have to paste it here click OK now here you need to select SSL option here you need to select enable SSIS okay SSL okay now here we don't have any option click on this option here here use native query or this one uh, click OK and so here not this one is wrong. press tab see it will get success like this okay click OK done press tab uh, you have whenever you are not able to see they just press the tab and press ok so that it will uh, disappear I mean if there is any option it will appear like that okay sir we have done that now open your SQL server uh, in which you want to form this one here what is the ODBC uh, driver name that you have given see here go to Databricks right you have to mention here server name Databricks Databricks here okay and uh, this one is common uh, here uh, this one is common here the here you have to mention the name of ODBC here you need to mention not uh, token word here again you have to mention here your token done now select all these ones and click OK see executed now come to here link refresh done 
text connection sir the text connection has been successful now go, click ok expand databricks catalogs see whatever catalogs that i am able to see okay in uh, this thing uh, now so all these catalogs you are able to see now go to a new query new notebook and so now show now again you can use use catalog see these many catalogs i am having okay now now click ok now so like uh, now we can see this many catalogs right now you can so if you want to connect you have to use open query so database source name here and what is the catalog name that you select start from catalog schema and allow or like uh, uh, catalog schema dot table and limit is 10 so like like how many you want to limit okay so as of now i don't have any uh, tables in my list okay but keep remember one thing so we have some limitations some queries will not get executed in, uh, in the this thing you have to go through the notebooks only and uh, coming to this uh, like what happened uh, you have to open 443 uh, firewall and you have to mention the right names and remember it will work only for 90 days again you have to recreate it again meanwhile the server is running or not you have to please check so this is serverless state okay so once you are trying to connect you may encounter issue because if server is not in running uh, if the warehouse, uh, warehouse is not in start state at that time you will get an encounter okay so i hope you may like this video thank you